Welcome to the Relax Into Love podcast, the place for spiritual, ambitious women to awaken to divine connection within themselves and their partner and manifest their most desired relationship with joy and ease. I'm Teal Elizabeth, your host, a spiritual love and relationship coach trained in the principles of feminine energy, NLP, and deep subconscious reprogramming. And through this podcast, it is my desire to inspire you on all things dating, relationships, and self-love. Now, on to the show. And we're back for day three of the attachment mini series. And today we are going to be talking about the secure, healthy attachment style. So for those of you who are just jumping in now, make sure you go back and listen to the anxious and avoidant attachment styles. There's some really, really good nuggets in there. And really my intention with this mini series is to help just uncover on a very, very surface level, you know, basic level, these different types of attachment styles so that you can start to kind of get more of an awareness of where you may fall in your own relationship habits. Um, With the goal being that we move all of us into this more secure, healthy attachment style. And I recognize that this is not something that everybody is comfortable with or, or even knows or has good healthy role models around of a healthy relationship and a healthy attachment style. So I just want you to know, babe, that if you are noticing that you fall into one of those other two categories, it's completely okay. Okay. There's no self-criticism. There's no beat up. There's no judgment from me here. This is just about bringing awareness so that you can make shifts to make a more positive, healthy outcome for your life. So we are all just kind of brought into this earth with our own experiences and our own traumas and our own role models as parents, right? Whether that's wonderful or not so wonderful. So All of this that you're taking in right now, I just want you to take in with such compassion for yourself and such love and appreciation and knowing I am here to learn, I'm here to grow, right? And I'm here to just continue to improve both for myself and for my future children, if that's something you want to have down the road, right? So that you can just keep growing and evolving and becoming a better version for everyone in your life. So let's really dive into the secure attachment style. This is something that it's so beautiful to see when when you see it or you, you experience it within yourself or with a couple. It really looks like just having a very grounded, healthy sense of self. That's the first part, is both people coming into the relationship, recognizing and knowing that they are fine within themselves, they are whole and complete within themselves, and they're not looking to somebody else to complete them, okay? So when we can come into a relationship from that place of not feeling like there is anything that this partner needs to do for us to make us be who we are, be happy in who we are, then already we're just setting a really nice foundation for where the relationship gets to go from there. So I really think about it as almost like having these two spheres, right? two spheres, like a big Venn diagram. And these two spheres are you and this this partner, you both being completely whole and complete in yourself and overlapping in the fact that you guys are overlapping your lives and overlapping your personalities and your hearts, but really co-creating and coming together to create an even bigger third circle above both of you. So the, the relationship is not the avoidant or anxious attachment where there's only two spheres and those two spheres are completely codependent and are meshed in between each other, right? Or overlapping on top of each other. This is where you're pulling these spheres apart to just beautifully create a third larger sphere that is the relationship as a whole. And so really that creates a very healthy foundation of you and him stepping forward into this relationship saying, how do we want to co-create our life together, right? And all of this coming from a true foundation of trust and respect. So people that have a healthy relationship in this attachment style of secure attachment style usually come from pretty comfortable and healthy relationships with their parents. So their parents were really provided a supportive environment for them to grow up, allowed them to really explore the world as children, and they also that they felt very protected and safe coming home. And so in adulthood, this is really mirrored in the fact of really not smothering your partner and trusting them to be able to lead their own independent life while also knowing that they will be honest and intimate and you will be honest and intimate and supportive within that relationship when things do get tough, 
right? So secure attachment style, really people are really much better at accepting their partner's shortcomings. They're responsive to their needs. They don't try to manipulate or play games because they've already cultivated that self-esteem within themselves and they already get that they are enough, right? And that they don't need anything and they're not trying to evoke feelings or evoke drama out of this other person to be able to give them something in return. It's just, it's effortless. It's, it's, <laughs> there's no drama, no tension. Um, and even when there is conflict, they are better equipped at being able to talk through their points and talk through their emotions and be able to really actively listen and put themselves in the other person's shoes to create a harmony and a balance, even with intention. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, really moving yourself out of this cycle of cynicism and fighting and drama and calling names and becoming kind of combative, right? People that are in these more toxic attachment styles really, when in getting into fighting, can really kind of come at it from a place of like, they're the enemy, they're the bad guy, and you are the one that needs to prove yourself and be right. Whereas being in a secure attachment style relationship is so much more about being teammates. Being teammates, even when there's challenges, even when you don't understand what that person's doing or why they're saying what they're saying, and knowing that they have your heart always as the number one thing, right? So that even if anything hurtful is said, you are giving them the benefit of the doubt that this is not meant to be malintent, malintent right? So with a secure attachment style, if this is something that you have experienced, then congratulations, you are... You are doing really, really well, and this is something to keep continuing to cultivate. You know, continue to strengthen that bond between each other. Continue to hold that space of compassion and safety and independence within the relationship, so that you're not smothering your partner and you're allowing them to live their life. And you're, you're always coming back as that home base of just, I got you. I'm here for you. I'm open to sharing how I'm feeling. I'm open to hear how you're feeling. Right. And if this is something that you have not yet experienced, this is something to really kind of shoot for, right? This is, I'm painting this as a vision for you to start to recognize, oh, okay, so that's what it means to be in a healthy relationship, right? Because I, I totally understand, you know, if we have never been taught what a healthy relationship looks like, it's really hard to know or even ask for those needs, right? So for those of you who have not yet made it into the secure, healthy attachment style, I really want you to think about what are the boundaries that I need to start putting in place? What are some of my non-negotiables? What are some of my deep, truest needs that will allow me to really feel safe to be seen as who I am within this relationship, right? So for me, some of my needs and boundaries are making sure that we're staying very open in our communication. I think that's a huge one, right? Anytime we're feeling some discord or some tension, we're taking time to take some space, breathe it out, come to the deeper truth with it, but then coming back together and really having that open-hearted conversation from an objective place, not from a place of fighting or attacking each other, but really from an objective place with the tone that I'm speaking now and just expressing, hey, you know what, this is how I'm feeling and I'm very, you know, I want to know how you're feeling about this, but how can we move through this together in a way that feels better so I don't have to go through this again next time, right? So I think open communication is a big boundary and a big need for me. Having respect, knowing that my partner is always continuing to be his best self and wanting to hold me to that standard too, never wanting to just settle and just, you know, be a blob on the couch. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one is like making sure that we're both really challenging each other and, and holding each other to our highest standards. Um, and then, re and so I said, o open communication, respect and trust, right? Trust that no matter what happens, even though we go and live our independent lives, even though, you know, I'm very extroverted and I love meeting people and love talking to people, like he knows that I always have his heart in like in my heart, right? And I would never ever do anything to sacrifice that or compromise that. And that I would never even think to put his happiness in jeopardy for my own pleasure and vice versa. You know, having that really secure feeling of trust with our partnership of knowing that we are each other's rocks and that comes above everything else. So 
I would really encourage you to think about for yourself, what are those three or four, you know, big values, big non-negotiables that you really want to take a stance for so that when you are in a relationship or when you're moving into a new relationship, that you are keeping those front and center in your mind, recognizing, okay, is this person being able to meet me in that space or are they not able to meet me in that space? And if they're not able to meet you in that space, babe, that's really on you. That's really on you to say, okay, am I going to allow myself to put up with this and move into a toxic behavior for my own old, old attachment style? Or am I going to start making a shift to moving into a new way of being so that I can start honoring a very secure, healthy foundation for my attachment relationship? So big stuff, big stuff. It's all intentional. It's all about really being intentional and bringing awareness, right? So that's really what I want to leave you with today. This wraps up the mini series of the three different attachment styles. Next week, I'm going to be talking about taking it even a step further. And this isn't necessarily something that is listed in the psychology books of the fourth attachment style, but <laughs> this is something that I am choosing to call the fourth attachment style, which is the spiritual evolved partnership attachment style. And that is a beautiful, mag magic, just like completely otherworldly cosmic realm of relationships that is just so beautiful. And it's something that I'm really starting to deepen into with my relationship with Spencer. And I'm really excited to kind of share that part of our journey with you um, as we're exploring that next, like next higher level of relating. Um, but right now, my goal for each and every one of you is to be in that secure, healthy, happy, confident relationship, secure attachment style um, from now and moving forward. Thanks for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Relax Into Love podcast. If you are loving what you're hearing, please, I would love for you to write me a heartfelt review. It means so much for the success of this podcast. And honestly, I love hearing what really hits home for your soul and the feedback, really, I read every piece of it. So definitely pop me a love note and share this with a friend. Share this with someone who you know could really use this message today. And let's keep spreading the love. Until next time.